Our next tutorial is going to look at the mid sagittal cut of the head and pharynx, and we'll look at some of the key structures that are involved with the respiratory system. We can start with the external nares. If this was a full nose, you'd see that bulge of alar cartilage that forms the external nares or the vestibule entering into the nasal cavity. External nares on the outside, internal nares is on the innermost aspect behind the nasal conchi. Well, that brings us to our three bony folds that are going to act to warm, humidify, and also make air a little bit turbid. This is our superior, our middle, and our inferior nasal conchi. We're now going to look at a couple tonsils. We have our adenoids, our pharyngeal tonsil. You're going to have your lingual tonsil and your palatine tonsil. Right above it is our uvula. It is hanging down off the soft palate. It will move mechanically backwards, pushed by the bolus of food when you swallow, to help isolate the nasal pharynx, preventing food from moving up into your nasal cavity. This hole that you see is an opening to the eustachian tube. It's what's going to drain some wax and some mucus from your nose, uh, from your ears, sorry, your ears down into your nasal cavity. These sphenoid and frontal sinuses that you see are paranasal sinuses. Their job is to act as a resonance chamber. And when you get sick and these fill up with mucus or you get congested in through your nasal cavity, you'd notice a, a change in your voice. So you can see how directly related to phonation and sound these paranasal sinuses in the nasal cavity have on your voice. As you move down into the larynx, we're gonna see that we have our vocal folds, true and false. We have some blue cartilage here. This is gonna be elastic cartilage, which is going to be your epiglottis. This is going to close to prevent food during uh, deglutition from entering into the windpipe or the trachea. This is going to be our cricoid cartilage. Starts off small on the anterior aspect and gets pretty large when you get to the posterior aspect of the larynx. This large cartilaginous plate is your thyroid cartilage. Remember, this is susceptible to testosterone, which is why at puberty, when males start secreting a bunch of testosterone, this starts growing uh, really big, which is why uh, men have a larger Adam's apple than females. All these cartilaginous rings you see are incomplete cartilaginous rings. They're called C-rings. It's what allows this tube, the trachea, to stay rigid. The last thing we're going to look at is going to be our pharynx. This is divided into three basic regions. You have your nasopharynx, again isolating the nasal cavity. You have your oropharynx, isolating your mouth. And you have your laryngopharynx, isolating the larynx. And that pretty much concludes our head and pharynx model. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.